Welcome to the Butterfly Effect. Today is stage 20 of the 2020 Tour de France. It was one for the history books as Tadej Pogacar threw in a ride that no one will ever forget that is a fan of the Tour de France. 57 seconds down, sitting second place on the general classification just seemed like a feat that was unachievable. But from the first pedal strokes off the ramp, he looked incredibly fluid and just never letting up. When the climb started, he stopped his TT bike, took the time to put it on the bumper of the car. I want you guys to go back and watch the video and watch how calm Tade is when he hops off his TT bike and just puts it on the front bumper of the car and compare it to every other bike change that we saw in today's stage 20 and no one was as calm and relaxed. He just pops off the TT bike, puts it against the bumper of the car. We would understand why later because he probably wants to save that and frame it and didn't want to scratch it and knew he was going to win. So he hops off his bike, gently puts it on the car. By that time, the mechanic just shows up. It's a flawless exchange. It's only a three second push. The mechanic could even push longer if he needed to, but it wasn't needed because the legs of Tadej Pogacar were just absolutely amazing. The minute he's back onto his normal race bike, you already see he's back in the rhythm and just cruising up the climb to set a blistering pace. But when you really watch him, the fluidness, the calmness of it, you see the bike change. And then you see as he goes into the last corner before the 20% pitch to the line, he just cruises in there, takes his last breath, gets ready for the 20%, and then really punches it all the way to the line, even shifting gears as he's sprinting to finish off what's going to be a legendary win and one for the history books. We got to really go and look at Primo's Rolex ride at today's stage 22, just so that we can put things in perspective. He didn't have a bad ride. He had a solid ride. He was fifth on the stage. Could you ask for 20 seconds more? Maybe, maybe even 30, but that's still not enough to win this Tour de France. He was fifth on the stage, Tom Dumoulin second, Walt Van Aert was fourth, three Yumbo Visma riders in the top five, and it's still not enough to keep the yellow jersey in the 2020 Tour de France. Tadej Pogacar, a legend, one for the history books. We'll always have to remember today's stage for sure when you talk about the Tour de France. And anytime when you look at a feat that can't be done, you got to bring up the stage 20 of the 2020 Tour de France. Tadej Pogacar had a bit of a rough run at this Tour de France with stage 7 when he lost over a minute in the crosswinds without much help from his teammates. Wins it back half that time on stage 9 and wins the stage with time bonuses. Loses time again on stage 17 to Primoz Roblek. I really thought that was the nail in the coffin when Primoz and Sepp Kuss really delivered that blow to Tade to gain that 17 seconds. At 40 seconds originally before, I thought Primoz Roblek was pretty safe with that, but not guaranteed. But at 57, you got to believe it was guaranteed. Nobody saw it coming here at NBC. We're happy it did. It left a great Tour de France, one that goes down in the history books as probably being the best ever. But you got to give it to the young kid. No one was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, and he still pulls out the win. Go back, watch the stages, see how beautiful it was at today's time trial, see how smooth he was. Look at Primoz Roblek as he starts the stage. He looks good, folks, solid. To me, I thought just willing to ride into this time trial easy, but instead, with each passing of the checkpoints, he was losing time, and we really saw the wheels start to come off when he hits the plunge the bell fee. His bike change is incredibly rough. The mechanic even given a six or seven second push. But what really started to give it what give it away that he was losing that jersey besides the time coming down, of course, 
If you look at Primo's Rolex, his helmet just keeps pushing further and further back and the sweat is building. He's trying to get as cool as he can. He's trying to fight for every bit of pressure on the pedal strokes. Up until that moment, you thought there was some chance, but once you start seeing the helmet go further and further back, you realize that Tadej Pogacar is going to take the yellow jersey at this Tour de France. And with a gap that was just amazing, still, even Tom Dumoulin's ride wouldn't have been enough to keep the yellow jersey, even if that was, if you had switched roles and put Primoz Roblek and Tom Dumoulin's bike and fit across the line at that time, it's still not enough to do it. That's how good Tadej Pogacar was. It wasn't an explosion from Primoz Roblek. It was really just an amazing ride from Tadej Pogacar. Hats off to you. Congratulations. It's a beautiful way to win the Tour de France. I'm going to call the butterfly effect today youth and just the amazing energy that Tade put out and the belief in himself to not only win the yellow, but win the white jersey and the polka dot jersey. Enjoy it. Your birthday is on Monday, one day after the Tour de France finishes. It's a fabulous prize. I hope you guys enjoyed my take on the butterfly effect, and I'll see you real soon.